G'day YouTube. This is just a quick video to show you a really cool slideshow creator and indeed a DVD slideshow creator tool or application you can use in Linux Mint. Now first of all I'll show you what it is and how it works and then after that uh, how to install it. So first of all the name of the program is called Imagination. So I'm going to open that one there. Let that load for a second. Now it's got a pretty simple interface, interface, but it actually looks quite decent. Um, uh, I mean, it's actually got it's quite it's got a bit of functionality rather. So it does a few things. Now, first of all, it's got uh, you know you select your pictures from here, uh, shift key for multiple select, so 10, 20, 30 images in your slideshow, whatever. And then you'll see here import music, so you can have background music, of course, just uh, running in the background there for the slideshow. Now, moving on you'll see a lot of transition effects. Yeah, I can't actually see them now because I don't have any uh, photos in there. But that's always helpful. And uh, slide duration, so 1 second, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 3 seconds, however you want uh, long in uh, a measurement of seconds for the actual... Uh, for to do a slideshow with, to slide between photos. Now you've got the slide motion as well, you've got animations, animation speed, uh, subtitles for the subtitle positioning and then <clears throat> audio is a little bit more basic just throw in there what you want and messages too so that's pretty much it but uh, it's it's quite uh, it's it's full featured in that it uh, allows you the transition in and the subtitles and music and so forth etc now once that's done you can export and uh, it will let you export to a number of video formats including DVD. Now, now that that's done I'll show you how to install it. So go to a terminal, open that one up, Control alt t to open up a terminal and type in sudo apt-get install imagination dash y for yes to automate the installation process. Now, I can type all this in because it's a part of the uh, Linux Mint repository, so that's all you have to type to install it. And uh, as you can see, that was pretty quick for me. Mine's already installed, but that's pretty much it in a nutshell, guys. That is how you uh, install and use Imagination. Cheers, guys. Hope you've enjoyed.